All right, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go through how to now assemble your train. You've got all the pieces done; it's ready to put it together. We've got Inventor opened up. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Bradley Tech Assembly now. Inches. Create. First thing we're going to do is pull out or bring in our train body. So I'm going to go to place. I'm going to find wherever your parts are saved. In this case, I have a folder here on my desktop. And I'm looking for train body. Hit open. And go ahead and place that out there. If I needed more copies, I could place more, but in this case, I only need one. So I'm going to hit escape. First thing I want to do before I proceed is place or lock down this piece. So I'm going to right click on it and go to grounded. I'm going to, when I start doing my constraints, I'm going to lock everything to that train body. I go to place. I'm going to find my wheel, right? If you look at my parts list here, I have four wheels. So I'll place them out there just like it's showing on my blueprint. Hit escape. Go to place. I have a hitch magnet. Hitch magnet's right in the back here. Go to place. I have a linkage arm. Two of those. Place. Linkage pegs. Linkage pegs are these small pieces in here. I have four of those. Place. My stack. I'm just going to place it over here for now. I need a cow catcher. I'm not going to worry that it is upside down. Uh, the last thing I, th oh, I need two more. I need the axle peg, four of those, and I need the hitch peg, which goes back here. All right, so those are all my pieces. I've laid them out just like my parts list. Um, I've locked in. Again, I've grounded this train body, so I'm going to proceed to constrain everything to that. Constraint, insert. This entire train can be done using the insert function, insert constraint. Right, everything is round, so we're going to snap uh, the circular objects into the hole. I'm going to click constraint. First thing I'm doing is doing the wheels. Right, the wheels. Even though this is backwards, I need the peg to be sticking out. Right, when I click the inside of my wheel, this round surface here, this hole and I click this hole on the train, you'll notice that it did flip for me. And I'm gonna hit apply. I'll do the same thing on this side. Even though this is backwards, right? I want this flat side to sit against my train. I'm gonna click here and here. And again, it flipped for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my wheels. You might need to rotate things to be able to see the corresponding hole. So those are all my wheels. They're all locked in place. If I hit cancel here and I try to click on one of these and drag it, it should spin freely. If it doesn't spin this way around that center point, that means you've accidentally used the wrong constraint. Again, we're using this insert constraint for everything. Um, the axle pegs. The axle pegs, as you recall when you made it, have two rings. Right? We've got this top ring, we've got this bottom ring. You could even utilize this ring in here. Um, it's your choice to use either this ring or this ring. Regardless, that hole or that circle goes to the center of my wheel. And I'm going to hit apply. Again, this inside ring here to this outside ring on your, on your wheel. Rotate it around and do the other side. Again, we should see this lip right here. And 
hit apply. All right. Next up, I'll look at these linkage arms. Again, constraint, insert. These holes are going to go over the pegs that you developed on your wheel. All right, so I'll click on this side. And I want it, this is the top of my peg. I want it to sit flush against my wheel. And I'll hit apply. If I hit cancel right now, everything moves. My job now is to attach this inside, constraint, insert. I want this inside hole to lock to that same location on the other wheel and hit apply. And now if I grab this and spin it, both wheels will move freely. I'm going to do the other side right away. Again, constraint, insert, this inside, not the top of the peg, the bottom of the peg. Hit apply. I'm going to hit cancel and just move this out of the way so it's easier to see. Insert. This inside with that other wheel. Hit apply. I'm just going to verify that it does spin freely. Um, next up, I've got these linkage pegs. These pegs will go in those holes that you created on the wheel, then holding that linkage arm on. So insert, again, I'm going to take this outside ring, you're welcome to take this, or you can rotate it up and grab this inside. Regardless, it's going to go into that smaller hole on that wheel peg. All right, so I've got four linkage pegs. Now my wheel assembly is done. On the back side of the train, I've got this hitch magnet with hitch peg. I'm going to use constraint, insert, and take this peg, this ring here, and snap it to the ring of that magnet. And then the ring on this magnet will line up to the hole in the back of your train. Hit apply. Two more pieces. Uh, the stack is going to go in this hole. Constraint, insert. I'm going to take that bottom part, that bottom ring, and snap it to the bottom of the hole on your train. If it does go upside down like mine just did, there is a tool here that will just realign it or flip it the other way. Hit apply. All right, last piece. If you recall on our train, I have these three holes. And on the cow catcher, I have these three pegs. I'm going to use constraint, insert. I'm going to take the bottom of this peg and snap it to that top middle hole. Hit apply. Now what I'm going to do is rotate it so that I am able to see that other peg as well as at least one of the other holes that it goes into. Right? So constraint, insert. Here's that other peg, and I'm going to attach that to this hole and hit apply. Cancel. I'm going to hit my home, and there is the assembly of the mini train project. Thank you.